Men can survive on their own. Women cannot. I must say it again. Men can survive on their own. Women cannot. Today's topic, we are going to look at a book and this book is called actually, let me just send that, it's called Letters to Young Lovers. Now I know some of you might be thinking, but Mario, are you sure you can do a book, uh, a video on this kind of thing? Nah, I can do that. Let me just, let's see, I can do that. I mean, why not? Actually, I am right now doing that, so I can. But, you know, of course, it's not my... it. I'm just going to give my opinion uh, from what I understand, biblically speaking, and, and what's going on in the world right now. So, without further ado... <sighs> So, the relationship, that, the relationship that we are having, men and women, right now, is a foretaste of heaven. A foretaste of heaven. Yes, that's right. So, basically, it's a relationship between Jesus Christ and his woman, which is his people. Pretty nice. Let's see what it says. Man was not made to dwell in solitude. He was to be a social being. Without companionship, the beautiful scenes and delightful employments of Eden would have failed to yield perfect happiness. Even, commun even communion with angels could not have satisfied his desire for sympathy and companionship. There was none of the same nature to love and to be loved. LYL 11.1 Letters to Young Lovers Now, my first thing is, God created a perfect world, even without Eve in it. What God was trying to do is just to have men, I guess, men, see that they would like to have somebody with them. Men can survive on their own. Women cannot. I must say it again. Men can survive on their own. Women cannot. Actually, before before Eve came, Adam was already there doing his thing. So, yeah. Now, I don't know exactly when God made Eve. I don't know. But Adam was surviving on its own before Eve came. That's the first thing. Now, that was before sin. That was before sin. And of course, um, what we can know is, what we do know is, um, that is God's plan. That men should not be in solitude. But, you know, sometimes things happen and you still get that kind of reaction. So, but let's move on. God gave himself, oh, God himself, not God gave himself. God himself gave Adam a companion. He provided and helped made for him. A helper corresponding to him. One who was fitted to be his companion. And who could be one with him in love and sympathy. And sympathy. Uh, Eve was created from a rib taken from the side of Adam. Signifying that she was not to control him as the head. Uh oh. I'm gonna come back to that later on. <laughs> Signifying that she was not to control him as the head, nor to be trampled under his feet as an inferior, as well, 
but to stand by his side as an equal to be loved and be protected by him. Okay. As part of man, bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh, she was his second self, showing the close union and affectionate attachment that would exist in his relationship or in this relationship. Religion. For no man ever yet hated himself, his own flesh, but nourishes it and, for, and cherishes it. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Our early 11.2. She was created to be on his side, not to control him as the head. Uh, that was before sin that God made Adam the head and after sin God, God even made it clear to Eve that your desire is no longer yours it's your husband's so whatever you want to do you have to go through him first isn't that nice? <laughs> but what society wants you to believe women, ladies what society wants you to believe is society is trying to make you believe that if you don't have a man your life is better I don't think so actually because once you turn 35 and that biological clock is telling you hey 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 I need some seeds in my egg so I can have a baby and like oh but I'm a strong, independent woman. Yeah, right. I know there could be some feminists watching this video. I don't care what if they're, if they're happy or not. But ladies, do not believe them. Do not believe in that lie that you that you can do better than you can do better without a man. No, you cannot. We can. You cannot. Men can survive on its own. Women cannot. Yes. Isn't that nice? But anyways. Um, and of course, men, we're not supposed to trample on the foot the women. Our women. Because they're not made to be inferior. But after the after sin came, we were no longer equal. We are both equal as people, but when it comes to our responsibilities, we are not equal anymore. Women were right here before sin, and they dropped down there after sin. And that's why you see many women, they look for a man who is making the same or higher than they do. Or they want to date a guy who is as tall or higher than they are. And that's what it is. That's genetics. I'm not making that up. Let's move on. Oh, yes. Um, I actually, though, something interesting will happen over here, too. Did you notice that it says, Therefore shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife? Yeah. It didn't say he shall cleave unto his friend, best friend, uh, girlfriend, fiance. Oh. He said, wife. So please, man, man, I'm talking to you right now. If you are thinking of cohabitating, you're doing it backward. You are not supposed to be cohabitating with any woman at all. God's plan before sin and after sin is to the same. That you, you cleave to your wife. Not to your friend. Not to your roommate. Not your girlfriend, no, your wife. But who am I? Let's move on. Let's move on. God celebrated the first marriage. Thus, the institution has for its originator, the creator of the universe. Marriage is honorable. It was one of the first gifts of God to men, and it is one of the two institutions that, after the, after the fall, Adam brought with him beyond the gate of paradise. 
when the divine principles are recognized and obeyed in this relation, marriage is a blessing. I just mentioned that men do not cohabitate with anybody else. First, marry your wife and then live together. But are you going to listen? I don't know. It guards the purity and happiness of the race. It provides for men's social needs. It elevates the physical, intellectual, and moral nature. LYR 11.3 Yes. The first thing is, God didn't tell Adam to marry Eve. Adam chose, chose to marry Eve. Adam chose to marry Eve. Ladies, let me tell you something. You control the sex, and we, the men, we control relationship. You, we as men, we go hunt for sex. Your ladies go hunt for attention and validation. That's how it works. That's how it works. So, when you say, well, I'm not going to give him any sex, he can be like, okay, I'm not going to even give you any attention. Well, then are we, then they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to go get it somewhere else. Guess what? He can, uh, he can also get sex somewhere else. You're not the only woman on planet Earth. And with the thing that's happening now, even in marriage, people are just like, eh, marriage, it's just a business contract. If I, if I don't feel like it, I can just go and have sex with somebody else. Yeah. I'm not making that up. You know it, and I know it. And that's why now many men are not marrying anymore because of the, 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 the stigma that comes with well, that comes with marriage. It's like a it's like a contract, and you and then the day you get married, you try to look on the back to see if there's an expiration date. Yeah. But if you do it God's way, then you might see a better outcome. Let's move on. As the Creator joined, joined the hands of the Holy Pale in wedlock, Adam and Eve, saying, A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and there shall be one flesh. He enunciated for all the children of Adam, basically, the marriage. LYL 12.1 That which the Eternal Father himself had pronounced good was the very law of highest blessing and development for men. LYL 12.2 So, men, we ladies, um, this is the place where, this is the time where I, uh, I, uh, thinking we need to do something or a better job. Better job. Let's put it that way. Better job. We need to find a way to, um, to, to not let society dictate to us how to live. Because think about it. Whatever society says right now when it comes to relationship, it hurts people more than it helps them. Um, Instagram, Facebook, you, people are deep, are getting, are depressed over being perfect because society is trying to make, to make them, you have to be perfect. Look at how that other girl is dressed and why don't you dress like that? Look at how that man is successful. Why don't you ask him? That's the problem. If we stick with God's plan, life will be better. But, again, who am I? I'm just the messenger. Oh, with... I'm not the messenger. I am reading the messenger's book and giving my thoughts and opinions. So, uh, this was Mother Michelle. And uh, I hope to see you guys again. 
front of them. 